going to fit an EGT gauge uh, and, and mount the, the uh, probe into the uh, exhaust system as we uh, go along as soon as I've got it all stripped down. So uh, without further ado I'm going to show you the turbo. Run. Here it is. It's um, an SL turbo. I got it from SL turbo. Let me just turn you around a little bit. I got it from SL Turbo themselves. It's a Chinese company. Now I'm not, as I've explained on another video, I'm not a, a, a proponent of Chinese things, but they do make some good stuff. And it appears on the outset that this is one of them. So it came in this box. Um, it came wrapped up correctly, you know, as it does uh, with all the um, wrapping on the outside, etc. Uh, came in a really short time about three or four days and uh, let's let's dig in and have a look okay so what we got here all right so there's a packet on the top oh got a pair of SL turbo gloves good that's to keep my hands nice and clean and what else have we got in here I'm sorry but I'm gonna need my glasses I can't read that so it says special turbo startup oil oh yeah there is oil in that nice and light and there's a, a tube to app applicate it so that's good so we've got startup turbo oil so that's good an applicator tube and some gloves good start not, not many places that give you gloves these days pair of white gloves I won't be using them when I do the engine, that's for certain, they'll end up with black gloves. What else do we have? There's another packet here, and that's got gaskets in it, so there's uh, the interface gaskets there, plus the uh, oil return gasket at the bottom for there. And uh, what have we got in here? Turbocharger installation instructions, and it's in English, not Chinglish, that's good. Very good, in fact. And what have we got here? Turbocharger vibration report. So at about 160,000 RPM, it was less than one GPK, GPK. So that's their vibration test. Not bad at all, I have to say, not bad at all. Um, I don't know. I don't know uh, what limitations there they work to, but I know that if you look in the Jacu manual, it, it says, um, at 140,000 rpm, which is less than this, it can be up to 4 G, uh, GP, GPK. So that's good. Let's have a look at the gaskets, see what they're like. They say they don't look bad either. Oh, there's a copper washer as well. That must be for the. Um, I don't know what that's for actually, but anyway. Oh, these are quite good gaskets, these exhaust and the inlet gaskets. Very nice very nice indeed i don't know what the little copper washers for but that's good but it's in there we'll, we'll figure out when we read the instructions okay so they're the good bits what we've got here all right ah, we'll get into the box and uh open up the bag oh wow doesn't look bad at all doesn't look, not look bad at all So, first thing I notice, it's got a lot of plastic plugs. Every orifice seems to have a plastic plug in it. That's good. There's the exhaust side. And what we've got here on the inlet side. Ah, uh, yes. So, I don't know, you won't be able to see that. I might be able to get you to see in there, but we'll have it, we'll have it dry. If you can see in there, 
you'll see a little notch at the bottom of the center of the um, compressor that is where they've balanced it they've ground some out of that to balance it I'm going to put you down here now so that's good it looks really well made really well made I'm very impressed with that it's got plugs everywhere it is definitely the correct one and it has an adjustable wastegate um, shaft too it obviously is preset but uh, Uh, let's just uh, operate the wastegate. See if I can get it to work. Yeah, it does work. There you go. It's quite hard to do, but it does work. So that's very good indeed. I'm very impressed with that. It's got a good hose on it. Yes, nice. Good work. Excellent SL Turbo, excellent job. The next job is EGT. Now if you don't know what EGT is, it stands for Exhaust Gas Temperature. And on a diesel engine, especially when you're towing, EGT is quite important. And this is a SAS exhaust temperature gauge. It goes up, it's a I, I opted to go for the analog one because it matches the, the turbo goes up to 900 degrees centigrade now you might think that's a lot if you don't know much about EGT comes with the electrical wiring and a mounting um, bracket which we probably won't use because I'll go out and buy another uh, dashboard mount here we have a probe so this probe we will drill and tap out the hole in the top of the um, it, it's basically where the exhaust gases escape out of the turbo into the cast iron bracket it's where the uh, the um, the cold weather flap is in the exhaust that always sticks uh, and people don't tend not to use it um, I'm going to insert the probe into there and uh, I reckon we'll see 300 to 400 degrees C on a road small run and then if we go on a long run we'll probably get up four or five hundred C degrees centigrade that's the sort of temperatures the exhaust runs at so that's good so we'll fit that as well because we're going to take the turbo out so we may as well um, and I'll I'll be doing that video tomorrow because now I'm I've got another job and uh, unfortunately work gets in the bloody way damn stuff it is so those are going tomorrow uh, first job is to go over to um, super cheap buy another cowling to fit on the dash um, then we'll remove the turbo we'll uh, exchange it for the new one we'll fit the um, in the main before we exchange it obviously we'll fit the um, the probe for the EGT and uh, we'll set it all up and get it all up and running and um, yeah so I'll film that tomorrow um, I'll probably cut the video and uh, post it tomorrow night so you should have it by Sunday um, it may take a bit of loading because it's going to be quite a longish video uh, if anybody has any questions just let me know in the comments and uh, I'll try and incorporate anything that you ask for in the video itself um, so it's something I've never done I've never taken the video I've never taken the turbo out I've never taken the uh, I'm, I'm going to remove the um, the, the warm-up flap as well because that can get stuck and cause all sorts of issues effectively what happens is when you press the uh, I think I think it's called the uh, warm-up button uh, or the warm-up flap or the warm-up something and effectively in colder climates you press that button it shuts the flap on the exhaust and it allows the engine to warm up quicker um, 
I, I think that's how it works anyway well we'll find out tomorrow when we strip it all down I'm hopefully I'm gonna be able to take that out so it can't get stuck because I'm always worried that I press a button by accident and it jams and uh, it does cause issues if it jams because you've got to strip it down and, and get it free again okay so um, hopefully we can get in there and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow when we get started mm -hmm.